Welcome guys to another video, my name is Daniel and it's a fantastic sunny day. I'm out testing the final product of the new tent, one person tent, uh, that is coming out this July. Uh, so, uh, new tent is our sponsor for the Across Norway through hike that we're going to have in just a couple of weeks. And we're gonna take with us probably two of these tents uh, and the Helleden tarp that is right beside me. So I'm pretty, this is the first time I've been setting up the uh, first uh, um, product of the van, and I'm pretty surprised about the changes that they made. I'm, I'm not really surprised actually because new tent is normally quality uh, producer of tents um, uh, from the prototype uh, stage to the final product uh, it has uh, been a lot of new improvements so I'm uh, this is a super sturdy tent that uh, will um, 
provide with uh, an orp an os protection for uh, this uh, through hike. Now, you might wonder why um, I don't choose a Dyneema uh, tent uh, over uh, the Varntu and Asil nylon tent. And it's basically because uh, in Norway we're not gonna get as stable weather as in, for example, the States. And uh, up in the mountains we're gonna be elevated quite uh, a lot uh, from uh, the uh, we're gonna gradually be elevated on, up on the mountains and the weather can change basically any time of the day and experience that in the expedition of uh, Anarjoka up in the very very north of Norway uh, now the through hike that we're going to have is based on 63 degrees of the uh, earth sphere uh, so it's pretty uh, quite above, I think it's even northern, uh, the same level as Alaska. So you get an idea how uh, the weather can quickly change, especially in Norway, because we have a lot of fjords and uh, the weather can come from uh, both directions. Uh, so if you have a Dyneema tent, uh, that is probably going to be lighter, uh, then you have a very, very condensation problem. And the Dyneema tent is, uh, though the material, we have Dyneema actually in this tent as well, uh, here. Um, uh, uh, the Dyneema problem is that um, uh, uh, it can be uh, very harsh on, on, uh, on the, it needs to be super tight uh, and uh, it doesn't breathe. And if a cloud or mist comes in, everything that you have is going to be basically wet in Dyneema tents. Uh, the pro is, is the weight. Now the Van Aen uh, weights uh, with everything that you see here, including the 14 pegs. Uh, it weighs around 2 kilos uh, overall. Uh, but if they, they choose to have Now they choose to have 14 of very very good solid um, pegs and um, I could probably depending on the weather I could probably get away with maybe a couple of more um, and leave leaving uh, this uh, aside because I have the pegs from the tarp uh, and I probably can use this to peg one of the sides of the tent as well. Um, uh, probably, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but this, this takes 300 grams, I believe, or 200 grams in all. Uh, 150 grams or so. so. So you can actually lower the weight even more. And there is an additional uh, pole that you here that you lo you lo the crossing pole uh, that doesn't come with the tent you have to buy for 150 crowns is ten dollars or so and it's a high quality aluminium um, tent uh, that makes even the van one more sturdier I would probably would bring a couple of those with the tent uh, for the across Norway but it's really not necessary uh, I don't think it's gonna be necessary but uh, we are not going to take any chances though it's a bit um, too much space for sure but overall the quality of this compared to this uh, van Heller and um, uh, pegs here that are even smaller uh, is, is a super good uh, aluminium uh, so maybe I will drop four of these on this trip so it has reflection this this mat here works is, is like meant for this tent uh, the, the material is uh, 20 uh, D nylon, so it's super strong. And 
yeah, it fits, it fits really well. I like the fact that you can actually uh, have a couple of doors to super ventilate and make it real open. That's kind of the selling point for me of this tent. And uh, it has, it has um, a space enough to even fit two backpacks here. I mean, matter of fact, you don't really need the, te the tarp as well. You just, you can use this as a tarp. The tent is super easy to set up. Uh, this is pretty different to uh, many of the tents that I've seen. You only need to set up the mill uh, aluminum pole and then pitch the tents uh, right. You have three, three Andynema uh, parts here, so it doesn't uh, tear apart. Uh, and you can even attach it from the side. And adjust this here as well. So it's tighter and you can get a higher inclination of the head. And there is the Dyneema uh, for Super heavy. Well, this is for add the additional poles. Actually, I choose to put one there as well. And just have it there. You have the same on the other side as well. So, man, this tent, even though it's not super tight on that tennis, you need some more adjustments. It's gonna be very aerodynamic aerodynamic and can withstand a superb weather and storm. This is actually a four season tent and you have to remember that Dyneema tent aren't a four season tent. So this it can actually snow on it and it can actually be super warm because it ventilates quite a lot. You might wonder why we're gonna take the tarp when we have a tent. Well, it's because my wife and I, we are going to walk quite a lot. And every lunch break, if it starts to rain quite a lot, because uh, the mountains of Norway, the Trondheim or Trøndelag uh, district is uh, known to be an area where it rains a lot. I think it rains for four days. And then we have the tarp uh, just to just deploy, quickly deploy uh, some place to just rest and take a break from the sun or from the rain. And therefore I will take it with me. I have good experience with taking the tarp. Now, as you maybe see from the start of the video, it was super easy for me to set up the tent. It's made to be very, very reliable and very easy to set up. This, ten, this tarp is even bigger than the one that I used uh, on the first expedition and it has some uh, details that we learn from Onur Tent Learn and I also of course did my part of um, giving my opinion uh, is that uh, we have uh, they have made some uh, quickly adjustments to to make this tarp super easy to set up uh, it doesn't weigh quite a lot. I think it's the same material. I can't remember 20D and it has some pockets underneath the tarp uh, So easy to put the plague uh, inside there uh, And have some organization of it. The cool thing another cool thing that they did is that on this side you have the staffing pocket for the whole tarp so it's actually pre-made, so you don't, uh, you don't actually uh, lose this. I wish, though, that they did that for the uh, van EM. But uh, one thing I did mention, that I forgot to mention, is that the van EM has, has um, a pocket inside for uh, the repairing uh, stuff for the tent. Uh, so uh, so it's, it's a good thing. Uh, I, I wish that they had a, a, a space for this to, to put it uh, in the same way that uh, you have done with the tent. Because it, there are a lot of uh, 
a lot of uh, um, stuffing uh, bags that get lost sometimes in, in the nature but it, this is a superb uh, feature that they have and they actually have a little uh, uh, better uh, adjusting points so this is one way to do it because when you are on the, a tree you can actually do this a different way so you can attach imagine that this is a tree and you can put this like this if you want instead or, or like that so this is a super way to actually uh, set up the tarp pretty pretty quickly and it's, it's not difficult to put it back on the stacking bag the tents are a bit thinner than the uh, uh, than the barn one uh, and it follows two four five six uh, pegs for the this tent uh, this tarp sorry so uh, let me see if uh, there is something more um, something more yeah so uh, this uh, tent uh, is the barn one and the barn two is gonna come with us uh, maybe uh, we're really not sure so as you can see I have taken up the uh, the crossing pole on the top so it uh, flags a, a bit more uh, but then again you can actually use this to adjust it a bit and the uh, stakes on the bottom so that's the crossing pole there so it's give you it give you more stability uh, uh, from uh, storms and stuff so let's uh, pack this up and uh, if you are wondering about something let me know in the comment below and i will try to reply to you guys so let's pack this and put it on the backpack and see how I'm gonna to carry this well so I have packed up the van and I have taken off four poles and the crossing pole just to see how much it weighs now it's basically very easy to pack even faster than to set it up and that's a good uh, thing uh, uh, depending on uh, when a uh, tent is uh, semi-freestanding, I think it's pretty easy to set up. Let's see. So just uh, by just some small things, I can even get uh, uh, get out of it where uh, saving some small grams of the four-season tent. And uh, the the one uh, the the heller then uses diesel maybe we'll probably do the work using the the smaller tent so let's see there are some couple of ways to pack this tent i can either take the uh, the uh, pole that is inside and put it uh, on the outside uh, with the tents or i can just pull the whole thing like i'm doing on the uh, outer pocket because this is what it probably get way any uh, weight anyway so it fits the hyperlight uh, back uh, pretty good and uh, for for quick deployment the Norton uh, tarp is gonna be on the side as well uh, the tarp is super easy to actually uh, deploy it uh, as well so this is basically my setup my wife's gonna be uh, carrying the same thing uh, for this trip and I believe the way total way for uh, packing for two persons is actually around uh, 13 kilos now so it's not it's not too bad it, uh, to be a, a actually a four season setup uh, and I'm carrying a lot of camera gear like you might have recall on the previous video so I hope you like this video guys and I will see you on the next uh, trip that is actually going to be a camping video, sort of a camping video. So thank you for watching, remember to subscribe if you haven't and press that like below. Thank you, bye.